Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're taking a look at this very cool set here from Hasegawa from the Dirty Pair anime series. We've got a kit of the ship, the lovely angel. But not only that, this set also includes 120 scale character models of Kei and Yuri as well. So that's what we've got to take a look at in today's review. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, we'll start off taking a look at the box art here, as you can see, it is in this quite long vertical format there with the characters, Kay and Yuri at the bottom, with the lovely angel spaceship there at the top. So nice box art, I'll be a little bit basic, but a couple things to point out here at the top. This is in the Creator Works series number 24 in that line here from Hasegawa. Also that the included character figures are going to be in 120 scale, while the ship itself is in 1 to 300 scale. Taking a look here at the side, you can see it's a very thin box as well, so not necessarily going to be a whole lot of stuff in here. Here's a look what the character figures are going to look like once they're all painted up. Very nice, and then with the ship so you can get an idea of kind of how big the ship is there compared with the characters themselves, and that's a, again a painted version of the ship model there of course. Here's a close-up of the two character models and the ship there. We have our uh, color guide for paints, looks like here on the side of the box. And let's go ahead and get it opened up here. So it looks like you just got one bag of stuff there. I think the ship's going to be all molded in pink there. The character models look like they're going to be molded in flesh tone and then a clear base. We'll take a look the runners here in just a second briefly. Here's a look at the water slide decal sheet. We've got water slide decals for the characters, uh, eyes anyway, and then some decals that are going to go around on the ship. For the instruction manual, we've got basically a reconfiguration of the box art there, some information in Japanese and in English, so that's very cool that you've got that there in English as well. On the inside, we've got a short parts list there because it's just a couple of runners, and then uh, some construction again should be pretty brief for this one. On the inside here, nice illustrations that uh, shows you where all the colors go and also where all the decals go around on them. Again, color guide here for the figures right there for you. Runner A is going to be our parts for the ship. This is all in pink here, as you can see. But some very nice little details on there. Once this is all painted up and everything, you can fill in those panel lines and everything. Should look pretty nice. Runner B is going to be here in flesh tone, and this is in PS plastics, so it should be very easy to work with, but this is obviously all your parts for the character figures. And then here is going to be all of our clear parts for the stand, and a very nice kind of uh, frosted finish there for that, so that's going to look pretty nice here for our stand parts. I right, guess so here's the kit all built up, at least the ship portion of the kit, the lovely angel here. Not really going to be all that much to look at right out of the box. I mean, most of the kit, I mean, the official coloring of it is mostly pink with just a few little bits here and there. But I mean, so it is pretty color accurate, I guess, but it's still definitely going to look a lot better once you get some paint and everything on there. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. A couple of things to point out. Number one is that this base can be rotated up and down so you can change the angle of that. And you can also rotate the ship left and right on there so you can get like a pretty cool I guess pose out of how you want the ship mounted onto this base. I do find this back part kind of weird because like the ship according to like the official artwork of the ship I looked up it doesn't have anything out the back at least as far as I can tell as far as I'm familiar with it it's just meant to be like that so you have this kind of weird piece that's in there that you need to stick it onto the base I think I'm probably gonna do without that later on once I have this all painted up. But on that note, there was some seam lines to remove right here on the like side of this engine there on this lower engine. There's a seam line going down the bottom and a little bit at the front and back on there. That's mostly it. Otherwise, pretty straightforward construction here for this. Not a lot of pieces, of course. I do have a pretty gnarly little sink in the plastic right there. You can see that's where the peg is molded on the underside of this top part of the shell of the ship there. So. That's unfortunate, but otherwise pretty interesting design. Makes for a nice simple little kit here for this ship anyway. Then we have our K and Yuri character figures here. So I have gone ahead and done all the cleanup and assembly on them. So these are all glued together now. So when it comes to painting them, I'm just going to be hand painting everything. If you're planning on airbrushing, definitely would be easier to keep the parts separated and then you know you have still have to do a lot of masking and everything. But uh, they go together pretty easily. I found that the fit of everything uh, is pretty good on these. So obviously now again straight out of the box, we're not going to look like much. But once you get these painted up and then you use those convenient eye decals on the eyes, 
these are gonna look very nice. You can see the detail on them is pretty good. It's not like uh, the sharpest detail I've ever seen, especially like some of like there's really small like line bits here around like the edges of the clothing. But overall, these are pretty nice 120 scale little, uh, plastic figures here that puts them at about eight centimeters in height. If you guys are wondering, just kind of generally about the size of these, if you're not familiar with uh, anything in 120th scale. The only thing I've left off still yet is just the earrings. Both of them have these like little square earrings that are just basically just meant to just be glued right onto there. And I've just not put those on yet. I'll put those on here in a little bit, but otherwise all the construction on these Basically just anything to get them ready for just some primer and then some painting is all done. Other than that guys, for the moment not too much else to say about the Dirty Pair set here from Hasegawa. Very cool kit if you guys are interested. This is just something just weird and different, kind of obscure. I thought it would be fun to just build up and put together. And then we'll go ahead and work on painting this later on. But for now this kit is all ready for paint. All it's still going to take is just a little bit of primer and then we'll get to work on that in a little bit. But as always guys, if you're interested in checking out some kits from Hasegawa, Wave, Kotobukiya, and Bandai, of course, any of that stuff, you can check out the link to USA Gundam Store down in the video description below for more cool kits. And as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out the video today. Hope that was helpful, interesting, something a little bit different this time. If you'd also like to like and or subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, hope you all having a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.